Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker tutorial and today we're going to be looking at HUD bars inside of Game Maker that you guys can use in your game and we're going to be looking at stamina HUD bar and a health HUD bar. Now if you guys watch my stamina tutorial I'm going to be using some of the aspects from that to doing the tutorial today but I'm also going to be adding in a health bar that you guys can use. So the only thing that I've set up is that I have uh, the stamina bar so I have a front bar and then I have a back bar and then I have a health bar for the front and a back. So you guys can just set these up but make sure that they are like tight into fitting into the sprite format so it's fitting completely into the image and i also just have a 32 by 32 red box for our player and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a player object you guys might already have one but i'm just going to quickly set one up just in case you don't so you can copy it so we're going to do uh, we're going to set up oh that's not what i wanted to open we're going to set up the initial variables so global dot stamina is a hundred Global dot stamina max is 100 as well, and then we're gonna do global dot p health because you can't do health because it's a saved uh, variable inside of Game Maker, so you have to name it to something else. So we're just gonna do p for short for player, and that's gonna be equal to 100. And we're gonna do global dot play global dot p health max is equal to 100 as well. Then we're also gonna implement the uh, sprint system as well that I used in the last tutorial so the HUD works properly. So move speed is 1.8, walk speed is 1.8 and then sprint speed is equal to 4. So that is everything you need to do in the create event for the player and then we're going to go into the step event for the player. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this bit of code here um, which is basically just going to set up the keys so that's it there. That's everything that you need to set up for the keys. So the damage isn't necessary, but it's just so I can show you that the health is working. And if you guys watch my last tutorial, you already know that I like to set up short wee kind of key variables to make it easier to call them when we're actually doing the move system. So if key up um, y y minus equals move speed, and we'll close that off. And we're just going to copy this four times and then that's going to be key down and this is going to be key left and then this is going to be key right so we're going to change key down to plus move speed and then key left to x plus oh no x minus that's fine and then key right is going to be x plus move speed so that is everything for making the player move around in the map and then we also need to set up if key damage so this is this isn't necessary like I said earlier but it's just gonna show you guys this working global.p health minus equals five and then I'm just gonna quickly copy the sprint code from the last tutorial so we'll do this for sprinting so this is oh actually so I'm gonna enlarge the code for you guys a little bit so this is the, the sprinting system, so if key sprint and not global.stamina is more than zero, it's going to take away the stamina and the move speed is going to equal the sprint speed, and else if we don't have any stamina, it's just going to be the walk speed. And then if we're not using the sprint, it's going to start adding global stamina so then we can use it again after it recharges. And then we're just going to set up some if global.stamina is more than 100, global.stamina is equal to equal to 100 just so we don't go over it and it ruins the HUD and we're going to do the same if global.stamina is lower than 0 global.stamina equals 0 and then we're also going to set up in case the player runs out of HP so if global.p health is more than 100 global.p health equals 100 and then if global global dot p health is lower than or equal to zero game underscore restart just so we restart the game so i don't have to keep closing it and opening it for you guys that is everything that you need to set up if you guys don't already have a um like a player system set up so that is absolutely everything and then we're going to create we're going to name this if I can get back to here, obj underscore player, 
and we're gonna assign the little small player sprite to that and then the main thing for this tutorial is the HUD so we're gonna do obj underscore HUD and the only event we need is the draw GUI we're basically gonna set this up so if instance underscore exists obj underscore player draw underscore sprite and then we're gonna do spr underscore stamina back comma one comma eight comma sixty four and then draw underscore sprite external so this is gonna be on the front uh, no underscore external this is gonna be in the front it's gonna be spr underscore stamina uh, front comma one comma eight comma sixty four so it's drawing on top of each other and then we leave that open doing a like comma max zero comma global dot stamina slash global dot sta stamina max and then close that comma one comma zero comma c un comma c underscore white and then we close that and that is to display the stamina bar we're just going to copy this I think that should work. I don't know why it's coming up with that, but if, oh, because I need to put another bracket there. Don't forget your brackets, guys. I'm really bad at forgetting the brackets. Um, but you guys should be, okay, why? Yeah, and then that closes that and that, and that closes that in there. So I don't understand why that's not working. Ah, because we need to do comma one. And that should be everything for that one. And then we're gonna copy this. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do this one for SP underscore health front. No, sorry, health back. And then this one is gonna be health front. And we're gonna change this one to P health. And then this one is gonna be P, P health max. There we go. But I also need to change the coordinates on this one, so this is gonna be one eight. Uh, this one's gonna be one eight nine nine. And I think if we put this into, the, I've just made a twelve eighty room with a green background. If I put that in, and I put that in as well, and launch the game, we should have a HUD. And there we go. That is a HUD. So if we sprint, it goes down and then slowly goes back up. And if I press space. You can see that we're losing health on the HUD bar, and if I fully lose health, the game just restarts. And if you guys want to be extra, we can also add in um, draw. Actually, we'll create. We have a font. We already have a font set up. It's just the built tiling font on 12 with a with the anti aliasing on. And we're gonna do draw underscore set font f underscore main. So we're setting the font to the one we just created underscore exists obj underscore player close that again it's gonna be draw underscore set underscore color make color rgb so we're gonna be using an rgb scale instead of uh just doing c white or see that so these colors are already predetermined because i searched them up and they match the health bar and then i'm gonna do draw underscore text view underscore export so the x-axis because they changed it in game maker studio 2 and uh, it's going to be 375 and then view underscore y port is going to be 0 plus 22 and then i'm going to do string let me just bring this up string underscore hash to new line and it's going to be string and another one global dot p health Plus, and then we're gonna do like a slash, and then plus another string, global dot p health, p health max, and then I'm gonna close that three times, and then put that there, and then we're gonna come back and then close it, and that should be everything you need to display basically the text number of how much health we have and how much max health we have. Um, and these coordinates are already predetermined because I did this just to make sure that it would sit right beside it. If we open up the game, you can see that we have 100 by 100 there. So if we take away 
it's doing the same thing there. And you guys can also copy and paste this and set it up for the stamina one as well. But yeah, that's just basically HUD bars in Game Maker 2. So again, guys, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to go and drop a like and also subscribe and also comment if you want to see anything in particular, if there's any way I could change this type of video or do something else more interesting. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.